So today we're looking at different types of power source for the microbit. So the two main ones we're going to look at are the power for microbit and the charger for microbit. And both of these tools are available from Monk Makes. So thanks again to Monk's Makes for providing both of these tools for me to make this video. So you can see that on the left here I have the standard battery pack that comes with the microbit. Uh, two AAA batteries. And it's fine, it does the job for a little while, but if you want something a little bit more permanent or long term, then you've got these two options. And you can see that the first one, uh, the power for microbit, it's powered by a barrel jack adapter. So you can plug that in permanently, whereas the charger for microbit is powered by a LiPo battery. So we're going to look at both of these tools today and see which would suit which type of project. So here we have the charger kit for microbit from Monk Makes and it comes with an acrylic enclosure. So let's open it up and have a look and see what's inside. Looking at the device itself we can see that it's got its usual USB jack there for connecting to your computer. We've got an on and off switch using the binary zero for off, one for on, so a physical switch. We've got the connector into the microbit itself, which is the same as the top connector. We've got the typical battery connector. And there's our LiPo battery on the back of it. So this is the bit that holds the charge. So I'll go ahead and piece it together. It seems pretty straightforward. So with a lithium polymer or LiPo battery, we need to just be careful. You don't want to be opening that up or getting it damaged um, as the same dangers exist with all these type of batteries. So you just want to handle it with care. Now the acrylic enclosure goes some way to protecting it and it also keeps it nice and tight together with your microbit so it's really cool. We can program and charge this device at the same time. So by attaching it to the computer with the plug into the top, it transfers that into the microbit itself and charges the battery all the while. And it apparently lasts for approximately 20 hours of charge for your microbit alone. But of course that'll change depending on what you've got your microbit doing and whether you've attached any accessories and so on. Once you've finished putting together the enclosure, you can see that it's a pretty good job and you've still got access to the on off switch on the charger. You've still got access to the port for the USB. And at the bottom there, you can see that you've got access to the pins. So you can still add accessories. So now that I've put the device together, you can see it's a pretty solid construction and I can attach my USB cable from my computer into the top of the charger. That transfers power both to the charger battery and to the microbit itself. I can turn on and off the switch even while it's there and I can continue to use the microbit as long as it's connected to the computer. We simply wait now until this green LED light indicates that the battery is full. We can now see that the green indicator has lit up, which means that my battery pack is full and I can now disconnect from the computer. So right now my power is off, as you can see in the top left corner, the physical switch. So I'm just going to turn that on and hopefully the simple code to light up a smiley face should work. And there you have it. So it's officially charging my mic a bit from the LiPo battery. So you can see here that not only can it power the microbit, but it can also power accessories that are connected directly to the pins. So here we have a power for microbit accessory. And you can see it's got a battery uh, cable for the microbit and it's got your power jack, barrel jack. It indicates that it'll accept 4.5 to 12 volt power, which is really good because that means it'll work with a variety of adapters. Um, if you have one around the house and it'll regulate a nice 3.3 steady output into the microbit So this is a great way of providing a permanent installation of your microbit maybe for controlling LED lights This is a very straightforward device to use. We simply connect it to our battery connector on the microbit
and attach our barrel adapter into the device. So this is a 12 volt power connection that I have for power and NeoPixels separately. So this will regulate the power down to 3.3 volts and give a nice steady current to the microphone. advantage of using the power for microbit is it provides a nice steady regulated current for accessories such as the NeoPixels. I'm going to wire up these 30 NeoPixels to my microbit and show you the effect that the power for microbit has. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference on the camera even though in real life it's a little bit more pronounced. So right now I have my microbits attached and I'm just going to connect them to the barrel for power. You can see at the minute the microbit was also getting power directly from the computer. So there's our microbits powered from the power for microbit. And if I remove that power, it goes back to the computer. You'll just see if you look very careful, a slight flicker in the lights. And that's showing that it's less regulated power that's going to those NeoPixels. Whereas again, by connecting my power for microbit, it just becomes a steadier and brighter experience on the NeoPixels. Again, that's a little bit hard to see through the lens of the camera, but in real life, it's actually quite significant. So just to quickly summarize, these are definitely tools that I'll be introducing into the classroom next year. Up until now, we've used just the battery packs that come with the microbits, and I found it quite cumbersome and expensive to continuously replace those batteries uh, for all the different projects and class groups that we work with.